All right, guys, so today we're going to be creating a flyer in Canva. So you've already logged into Canva. And one of the things that you can do to get started, if you haven't started yet, is you can just search for your design. So we're doing a flyer. So like if you have a steakhouse, you could do uh, just search steak flyer and you'll get all these ideas. And just keep in mind that you can always change or add text to this. So it doesn't have to be exactly like this. You can change the text, you can change the picture, you can change the color of the text. You can do so much. So these are just kind of little templates that you can uh, use to kind of just to get started. So that's if you have a steakhouse. What if you have a, uh, I don't know, a place that sells tacos. I, I always use that example. But there you go. You've got some good um, templates here that you can um, start working off of. Of course, if you um, don't like any of the templates, you could just you know search for flyer or click on flyer if you have it down there, and you could always do a blank template and add your own stuff. Okay, so let's say we are in, uh, we've chosen a template. Okay, so let me uh, go ahead and. Okay, so I've selected a template here. And just be aware that some templates might have this Canva watermark in the back. Don't worry about it. Um, those are designs that they sell. So you might have to pay like 99 cents to use it if you actually want to use this for a, you know, for a real purpose. And you really like the style, well, you could just pay for that. And uh, But don't worry, I'm not counting points off against that or anything. And... Uh, for now it's fine so I'm gonna change this up to be my own uh, flyer to do that um, I like the font of this so I'm gonna just move that down and I might reuse it later and here I want to put my logo because that's a requirement for this assignment so you have to you can go to your uploads and choose your logo okay so here's my logo Mr. V's Tacos. All right, and so I'm going to make that a little smaller. Okay, so Mr. V's Tacos, we've got that. Now, I'm requiring two pictures, but if you have a element like this, that'll count. So I need one more picture. So I'm going to go here to Photos, and I'm going to search Tacos. And which tacos do I think match my flyer? I would say, I would say, I see this is if it says pro, you got to pay for it. So I'm just looking for something free. So I'm going to put that. And by the way, if you want to move something forward or backward, you could just right click and send it backward or bring it forward. Like I'm going to do right here with this right click, bring it forward because I want this on top of this. Okay, now we can barely read any of that. So let me go ahead and I'm going to make this smaller and I'm going to start putting this info. Yes, we cater. I'm going to change that to we offer curbside because that's what everybody wants right now. So if you do offer curbside, put it. It's not a requirement, but if you do, make sure you include that because that's what people want right now. So we offer curbside. And I like this. This is already perfect. Call us at, and I'm just going to leave that there, but you do need a phone number. So this one worked out perfectly right there. I've got a phone number and I want this to be on top. So I'm going to bring it forward like that. Move this. Maybe like that. Okay, that'll work for now. Um, now I'm going to use this also and I'm going to change this to say uh, just to put our website www.mrvstacos.com That's just something I want real small. Actually, I want this here. And I want the curbside on top of that. And then this. Okay, now, I've got these lines, too, here. These are elements that came with a flyer. I messed it up. But you can reuse those. 
And let's say you want to add text. Okay, you can always click on text and you can just grab one from here and you can type something in. Like for instance, I need our we need our address, so I'm going to type in the address. It's on 123 ABC Street. I don't want you to use your real address. You can use the school's address or you can use your address but change the street name or change the number. Change the number up. Edinburgh, Texas. Okay, this is big, so if your font is too big, you can always change the size of it right here. Or you could just resize it manually like that. And now we need our hours of operation, so I'm going to put that. And of course, we are open 24 hours, just like that. So you get the point of this. Oh, let me see. I'm also, uh, let's see, I have the phone number, the address, the uh, curbside, the website, um, the logo, two pictures. And a promotion. We need a promotion. So since we're a taco place, we have to have our Taco Tuesday. Also, another thing you can add here is elements. So I'm going to put here promotion. See what comes out. All right. This is exactly what I was looking for. So we can do a little... Let's use... That's that you have to pay for that one, so I guess this one. All right, so I'm gonna put in here, yeah, I want it to be on top like that. I'm gonna put on here now. I need text, I need to put text in there, so I need to get a text box and I can move it on top of that. Let's see if we can put on Taco Tuesdays. I'm going to just put here dollar tacos. Okay, so if, I, if this was for a grade, I would make it, of course, nicer and, and do all that, change the font up. But this is just a quick little overview of what you guys need to do. Um, now, so there were some questions about how do I upload my logo. So what you do is you go to Uploads, and you need to upload an image or video, and then you need to find it in your device by clicking upload from device and that'll bring up your um, file explorer and then you've got to find the uh, logo wherever you saved it at wherever you cropped it at somewhere on your computer you need to find exactly where that folder is and then click on open or insert and then it'll be here in your upload folder in Canva from there you can just click on it and it'll appear on your flyer Okay, so then let's say you're done, and this is something else we can do. Um, you're going to need to share it with me, but this is something else we can do. You can click on share, and you can copy the link. Once you copy this link, you can uh, you can put that in the chat, and we can all take a look at everybody's flyers. Um, but you're going to put my email in here. Okay, and then you're going to send the invite to me. And you could just change this to view because I'm not going to be making changes to it. I'm just going to view it, put my email address, click send, and then I'll get the email, I'll get the invite, and I'll be able to view your flyer.